Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm DJ Kelden the Antidote. We are going to learn on how to make credits on Seto DJ Pro, how to make some smart credits, how to arrange your songs according to BPM, according to the key, and how to delete the credits. So stay tuned. If it's your first time here on my channel, make sure to subscribe, like the video. Let's go straight to the tutorial. So what are credits? Credits are like folders in Seto DJ Pro. For you store your music according to the category you want, maybe according to the genre of music, according to the year of production, according to the mood, maybe happy mood, hype mood, according to the set, maybe the main set, the outro, the intro, the hype dance, all those categories. So how to create them? Just come here on Serato DJ Pro. I'm using 3.10. It's the latest version, year 2023. So come here. Press on this brown button, click on it. You can rename it by double clicking on it. Let's give it a name, for example, Afrobeats. So you just type Afrobeats. After renaming it, you need to add some music. As you can see, inside it is empty. There's no music inside it, so you need to add some music. When, they, when there's some music, it usually displays here. So to do it, just come here on files, click on files. So on files, you need to come to your local disk, either the hard disk, external hard disk, or the internal hard disk. Just press mine are, mine are on media, press on it. Then you go to the, to the category you want, mine is 2023, I'm going to choose this music, click on it. So you're going to add Afrobeats. So you can just uh, drag this folder in here, like that. Then, you give it some few minutes, the music will display here, like so. Then, uh, you can uh, add to the main folder, like this one, just uh, drag and drop it inside here. You can add, uh, you can add other alphabet from maybe year 2022. So, back to my folder here, music 2022, click on it. Alphabets, the same way, drag them inside there. Then, you can place them under there alphabet title like that so you see how we have a uh, alphabet from 2023 2022 so you can categorize them according to the bpm let me repeat this one drag and drop inside there give it time to analyze the songs within some few seconds you'll need the song here like that then you drag and drop it inside there like so so that's, way, that's one way of uh, loading the songs. But the other ways, if you want to load specific songs, for, for instance, let's create another folder here. I mean another crate. Click on it. Rename it uh, maybe hit songs. So when you name it hit song, you need to choose some songs. Just choose on random, no specific order. Like instance, you want these songs. This like these three songs to be on this folder of hit songs you just drag and drop them inside there and you can see them here just like that then there are some songs that doesn't have uh, the bpm and the key and the duration so you want to analyze them for instance you can see these songs doesn't have bpm no key no length so you need to analyze them so that when you're DJing. It's very easy to flow with the BPM and if you do the mixing in keys, it will also be very easy. So to do it, just uh, highlight them. You are going to choose a few songs so that it is fast. Just drag and drop them there, analyze files like that. And within some few seconds, it will analyze and you get your BPM key and the length of the song. Very easy. So that's one way of doing it, very simple. Now there are some other tricks you can use if you want to analyze according to BPM alone. Maybe you want some songs between the BPM of 80 to 89. So let's do it. So you're going to create a smart crate. When you look up here, there is a blue button, this one. So this one is a smart crate. So what you do, you come up here, let's close the files. You press on all, then you click on smart crate it will come to smart crate rules 
Then here you come and add rule. So click on add rule. You click on that down drop. You're going to choose BPM. Then after that, greater than or equal to. So you want 80. Let 80. Then come again. Add another rule. Click on BPM. Then you're go going to choose less than or equal to. So you're going to type 89. So you want songs between 80 to 89 to be analyzed in one. Great. Then you save it. So you click on this. Great. You note that all songs here. The songs in this list are from uh, a BPM of 80 to 89, as you can see. Very easy. Now you need to rename it. Just uh, maybe BPM 80 to 89. Then you can create a main create here. Rename it BPM. Then you're going to drop this subcrate under or inside BPM so that you can be able to categorize the songs very well. Let's get another category. Again, go to all, click, smart create the blue one, come add rule, add uh, BPM. So you're going to analyze songs between 100 to 105. So here you type 100. Then you come back here, add another rule, BPM, so 100 to 105, Sorry. like that, then you save it. So when you come to your crate here, you can see all songs here are from 100, sorry that rule does not, that doesn't work, let me repeat it again, let me delete it. So let me add another one. I come to all. Smart create. Add rule. BPM. So it's 100. Then I add another rule. BPM. So it's less than or equal to. So greater than or equal to. So less than or equal to. So 105. 105. Then you save it. And now you can see it's 100 up to, let's even scroll down there, to 105. So you rename it again, double click on it. 100 to 105. Now you can put it under the BPM. You can see now you can also analyze them according to key. What is the key? This is the key here. The key is the, like the harmony of the song. When you play two songs the same key, they sound so smooth and even you can't identify if they are two different songs, if you are good at blend, uh, blending and bit matching. So let's uh, arrange according to key. Let's make a, a major create. Double click on it. Type key. Then come to all. Then to smart create here, the blue one. Add rule. Come to the down drop. Now you are going to choose key. So key contains what? We are going to choose, for instance, 4A. 4A. Then you save it. So the kit will have songs with 4A. These are the songs. So if you play these songs together, they will be so smooth. Because they are the same key. So if you usually mix in keys, it's a very good option for you. So rename it again. Double click on it. Then type a like that then you you can add it under the key let's do it again so that you understand it come to all smart create add add key contains what you're going to choose another one maybe 7b then you save it open your crate you have the songs is 7B here. Double click again and save it. 7B. This is very simple and straightforward. So guys, hope you are learning something new. If you are new to the channel, make you subscribe. Like the video. Let's continue. Now you are going to do on how to delete them. At times you try and delete the 
crit and you fail this is because you just a setting your set on your settings come here to the settings you come to display and i mean library and display click on it you see on a library is protect library click on it so this is a library this one it is protected so if for instance maybe you are moving your mouse and you you want to del you, you delete it by mistake so when you checked the protect library you can delete it by mistake so for instance you press control delete you can't delete it so if you want to delete a, a credit just come to the settings here come to library and display protect library and check it and come back to your library for instance I want to delete for a so just press control plus a like that on your macbook it is command delete of note it's not backspace it is delete because if you press the backspace it won't delete make sure you're pressing the delete button the one is written on your keyboard delete so that's all guys for this tutorial hope you've learned something new in case you have any question any additional knowledge you want to share with us just write on the comment section you can also dm me on instagram at digikelden254 i will respond to your dm yeah guys if you also need some dj drops i shall do dj drops make sure you reach out i will give you some pause and listen to them and I give you the the prices they are under ten dollars thank you guys see you next time